1-800-242-1079. Good evening, Clarion. I'm Matt Catrillo with your Thursday Night Sports Report. After a brutal battle with Mother Nature, the Clarion baseball team finally opened up its home schedule yesterday, taking on Bloomsburg. The Golden Eagles created some good home cooking and some late drama in Game 1, with Clarion up 3-2 in the top of the 7th, with Husky runners at 2nd and 3rd and 1 out. Derek Danberg threw the Bloomsburg runner out at home for the second out. Then Bloom's Joey Castleberry grounded out to third to end the game as Clarion hung on for their first home victory of the season. Alex Borowski went the distance for the Golden Eagles, allowing two runs on eight hits and three walks. Clarion didn't fare as well in game two, falling 15-6. After a two-run first inning, Bloomsburg knocked out Clarion starter Troy Kumar out of the game, scoring six in the second en route to the victory. The Golden Eagles are back in action Friday at Gannon. Despite better offensive productivity, the softball team suffered its fourth straight sweep at the hands of the Seton Hill Griffins. In Game 1, Seton Hill broke a 1-1 tie with three runs in the bottom of the sixth en route to a 4-1 win. After jumping out to a 2-0 lead in the top of the first in Game 2, the Golden Eagles surrendered four runs in the bottom half. The Griffins would put the game away with an unearned run in the fourth and earned, run, and earned runs in, fifth, in the fifth and sixth. Casey and Kristen Wilcox led Clarion at the plate, going a combined 7 of 12 with an RBI and four runs scored. The Golden Eagles also returned to action on Friday at 2.30 at Mercyhurst. Coming into last night's matchup in Pittsburgh, the Detroit Red Wings look to clinch their 23rd straight appearance in the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Red Wings would just need a point to get the job done. It's also the latest installment of the rematch of the 2008 and 2009 Stanley Cup Finals. Let's go to the highlights and down to Console Energy Center. Pick it up second period, all nodded to one. Tomar Tatar to Jacob, to Jacob Kunai, who takes the slapper from the point for the goal. Marc-Andre Fleury upset with the call as the goal is allowed, and here's why. As you see, Riley Shahan falls into Fleury as the puck goes in. Call would stand, and it's 2-1 to one Detroit. Later on in the second, pens on the power play. James Neal with the blast pass. Jonas Dustupson, and we're all tied it up at two. Third period now, 3-2 Penguins. Nicholas Cromwell goes across to Riley Shanahan for the goal. With a lucky bounce there, and Fleury unable to make the save, and we are tied at three. We go to overtime, nothing happening there, so we go to the shootout. UC Jokinen with a great move here to beat Jonas Gustafsson, and the Penguins get the win in the shootout, 4-3 over the Red Wings. James Neal with two goals for the Penguins. It's also the Penguins' 100th win at Consul Energy Center, but the Detroit Red Wings do clinch the playoff spot as they got that all-important point. The Pirates continue their MLB record stretch of 26 straight games against division opponents to open up this season. So far, the Buccos have, been, have taken advantage, having won both of their first two series against the Cubs and Cardinals. They begin their first road trip of the year, looking to keep their winning ways going in their second series of the season with the Cubs, this time in Chicago. We head now to Wrigley Field, picking it up top of the fifth, tied to one, Cubs with a man on and two outs, and Mike All takes this pitch deep to left field, and it is gone, a two-run home run. And the Cubs take a 3-1 to one lead. The next up, man up is Junior Lake. And he says, if you can do anything, I can do better. He takes that pitch deep to left field and gone as the Cubs go back to back. And this is out of the park. And the Cubs lead it 4-1. to one. They go up 5-1 to one as we go to the bottom of the sixth. The Cubs with runners on second and third. All back at the plate. And he'll line this pitch to right field, which allows Rogino to score. And the Cubs would lead it 6-1. to one, And they go on to win 7-5. to five. Michael with... A two for five day at the plate with a home run and three RBIs. Jason Hamill continues to dominate the Pirates as he gets the win with seven innings pitched, six Ks, three earned runs, and three hits. But though, guys, the Pirates were able to take the series this afternoon as Garrett Cole gets the win for the Buccos, a five to four win in Chicago. And the Masters through round one, Bill Haas is your leader at four under. Adam Scott and Louis O'Thusen are tied for second at three under. And of course, some sad news from Michigan State as Adrian Payne loses his biggest fan. Eight-year-old Lacey Holsworth, we all saw her with their connection mm -hmm. on SportsCenter a couple, a couple weeks ago. She unfortunately died yesterday morning from a rare form of cancer, so her, our thoughts and prayers go out to her family. Absolutely. Definitely a uh, sad moment indeed. Um, to go on the liar side of things, nice use of a song drop there on your last highlights. <laughs> you guys know that I had to. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Also, um, for the NHL, a great matchup between the um, Penguins and the Red Wings. Can we expect that for the playoffs? You could see that. Right now it would be the 2-7 matchup in the, in the postseason, so we'll have to see how everything shapes out. We'll definitely have to look out for that. Uh, 